Okay, the other day we went to the Wausau Farmer's Market. My wife picked up all this stuff. Looks like zucchini, peppers, carrots, jalapenos, and she is going to make uh, some sort of soup. Okay, this is the uh, flavoring she uses, caldo con sabor del res, and we'll just use some beef on there. Um, I'll show you the cut of that. This is the meat we're going to use. We're going to use about half of it, so about three quarters of a pound. It's top sirloin steak, and it'll be delicious, I'm sure. Here's the pan we're going to cook the beef in, and before we put it over into the big soup can, uh, first thing we're going to do after we're doing the meat is put the carrots in the soup can because they take the longest to cook. I forgot to mention before that we're going to use fresh cabbage as well. My wife is shy, so she's doing all the work and doesn't want to talk. And uh, this is what we call cutting up carrots. Fascinating. Fascinating. Now we're de-seeding the bell pepper. We've already quartered, or it looks like eight, the onions. Okay, now we have the beef in a big roaster with some olive oil. Basically just browning it. I was trying to say browning it, but I'm all stuffed up, which is a big reason why we're having soup. Keep the zucchini in big chunks. I'm told it's Mexican style. Okay, this is my other wife's hands. We're adding minced garlic at this time. Uh, normally we use crushed garlic, but we just moved and we don't know where that is. That's actually my oldest daughter. Hi, sweetie. Look. Nice. <laughs> Good cook. All right, onions go on top of that. Fascinating. And now mom over there is cutting up some tomatoes. Okay, we also have red potatoes. So here's the whole spread. And I've just been updated. We're going to put a little cilantro in. Okay. We flipped our beef, which is a lot like cow tipping. Now we're going to pinch some cilantro, drop it in there. It smells very good. Kind of cheating, kind of making our own stock here. Just use the bouillon and uh, heat it up with some water to get a nice mixture. We'll add that to the beef here in a second, which is looking really good. Oh, it smells really good too. Add the stock to your meat. That's some good pour in there, kiddo. Okay, we're going to transfer now. We've added one more four cup thing of stock in there, that homemade stock. Homemade meaning bullion cube in water. And now we're going to add. How are you going to do that, kiddo? Exactly what I'm Oh, it smells delicious so far. Kind of a ritual after making soup, we have the clean the stove party. Yikes! Oh well. Looks good. Don't fill up, by the way. Okay, time for some carrots and the red potatoes. Or when you have a cold like me, the red bababos. Okay, we're just adding water now. I get the uh, soup base a little bit soupier. We're going to fill this puppy up. And uh, no real hard recipe to this, just a bunch of great veggies and bouillon and beef. And what is that? Tomato bouillon. Tomato bouillon. Lily. And that's Chef Lily. Hi, Chef Lily. You helping out? No. Why not? Okay, after that fascinating interview with a two year old, we're going to add some Wassa Farmer's Market tomatoes. Looking good. Okay, now cover the pot. Nice. Okay, we've got the spoon of righteousness in there. Stirring it up. 
We're kind of rushed because it's already 3.56 and we should have been doing this four hours ago. Because you want to let this, you know, cook for a good four or five hours so the meat just kind of dissolves around your uh, your spoon or fork. And now it's time for everything else. There go the green peppers. Some cabbage. Some more cabbage. Some more cabbage. Cabbage, cabbage, cabbage. Spoon of righteousness. And that cabbage will pretty much dissolve in there. And now we're adding our zucchini. That's a one the big zucchini you have there, kiddo. Cut in big chunks, but again, that'll dissolve most of the way down as it boils. Dissolve is not the right word. Okay. Okay, almost done. It is boiling away. I'm gonna add some cumin, cumino. Okay, I don't know if you got that, but 11 squishes and one, seven more. 11. Okay, we added cumin. Mmm, cuminy. Okay, just open it up. There it is. It looks and smells delicious. Okay, here's the finished product, caldo de res. Perfect for a guy like me today that is so stuffed up. I got a cold, but uh, one little piece of meat, that's actually a big piece of meat, does the whole pot.